Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie, and I'm back with another Fego video. What are we doing today? Well, it's close to the end of the month, so that means that it's time to talk about what's going to be coming up for the month of February. So, before we begin, as always, I have to mention this because I've mentioned it in the previous video, but I will be gone <laughs> either because my work has killed me due to the crazy influx that we've been uh, preparing for, um... Or I'm playing Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth. Whichever one of those two things is happening right now. It's a crazy week for me. It's, uh, <laughs> I'm, I pre-planned, I'm pre-planning these videos for that specific, uh, time. So, if anything is a little bit out of date, blame it on that. But frankly, all we're gonna be doing for this video is looking into the head of the game. And let's go right into it. So, if you don't know, Fago NA is two years behind on the JP version of the game. So, we know all the events that are gonna be coming to us two years in advance so we can plan around it so let's begin so february chances are by now we will have already had the pre-release campaign and the satellite station commemorative campaign i did a video on this banner because i was pretty positive that they were going to release it early but this will have a login bonus which will feature two silver apples two golden apples and three saint quartz all spread around seven days a bunch of missions that can be completed and a summoning campaign featuring these units which I will have recorded a video about. Um, yes, I did. Why am I treating it like I didn't? I literally just did two minutes ago. Um, and there will also be a live stream. Ours isn't called the Caldea Satellite Station. It's called like, hey, hang out with Albert and friends for a bit. So when the Albert and friends live stream goes up and they talk about the game a little bit and they tell you, hey, Bazette, Bazette is coming. To be shocked, be super, super, super shocked and surprised. But during that, we should get three golden apples, six in quartz if we meet the campaign deadline, which sometimes it seems like we maybe aren't going to. But there's usually bots who do help us out at the end, I think. <laughs> That's what I assume, anyway. And then there'll also be a broadcast bonus of 10 Saint Quartz, so there'll be a total of 16 Saint Quartz right there. In terms of the event itself, Valentine's Day will feature Bazette and she will be there. Uh, this is another Valentine's Day quest. You need to have cleared Fuyuki to do it, just like all the other Valentine's Day quests. It's a big pain in the ass grind, especially if you've already done it. Uh, so get ready for more of it. <laughs> There's point rewards to it related to getting a buttload of chocolate. Um best of luck to you and again if you've already collected some of these you're gonna you're gonna end up recollecting them again <laughs> that's just the way that the game functions for some reason but any of the new units that released um you'll be able to try and get their uh chocolate stuff and eventually we do get lock on chocolates which you can just use and hopefully you won't have to do all of them but you won't have to do a decent amount of these because there are some tickets inside the point rewards that are worth getting let me see one two Three, four, I think there's not five, if I remember right, because I did an entire video talking about this, and I remember going, no, no, there's five, there's five, okay, there's five tickets in here, easy, and also golden foes, so, and a crystallized lore at three million, happy grinding on this one, and yeah, all the C, <laughs> if you've never done Valentine's Day, every unit gets a Valentine's Day scene, if they release during year one or year two of the game, they last about 10 seconds. If you, are, if they are an older unit, sometime around commas released, I would say, they become much longer and more in-depth and crazy. So get ready for all that. And there's always a new MASH one as well. That's the one thing I remember. For all the old ones, it's always a reprint of all the old ones, what they got. But for MASH, she gives us something new. And then there's also return gifts for the genderless units and the dudes who are the dudes, the dudes. You can get a fish from Fee and McCool. Get ready for that. Get hype. I think all the dude gifts are always better, by the way, because the the women give you like chocolate, and then like the dudes. Look at this. Everyone's favorite fraud, Tygon. He gives you the perfect fishing spot. How are you supposed to compete with that? You don't. No woman can compete with the perfect fishing spot. Those are some cold hard facts for you out there, ladies. Next! <laughs> I shouldn't find that that funny. Somebody campaigned. Obviously, there's one that's going to feature Vazette on it. 
Bazette is a really cool unit. She has a very interesting kind of mechanic. Obviously, I'll do a video talking more in depth about her. But besides just being a cool ass unit from, <laughs> I think it was Fate Hollow is where she comes from. I don't remember fully. I just remember I have a friend who really loves Bazette, and I remember I think she has some scenes in Carnival Phantasm. That's about my actual level from her, and just that enough is for me, enough for me to go. That's really cool. She's a cool unit. But in terms of her actual unit, she has like a self. She has like counter attack. If you ever played Dokkan, it's kind of like Super Vegito. <laughs> when he first released or that's how i took it as when she first released and i remember seeing jp videos of this back in the day and it seemed like a really fun thing to use i think i remember seeing like they were figuring out ways to like farm with this ability <laughs> which seems crazy to me but apparently there is a way to kind of do it um don't know fully if it's actually a viable or it's maybe just a funny thing that you can do but still very cool and that worth it alone. This, she's definitely one of the units that I want to try and actually get. Even though I think I've only allowed myself a certain amount of uh, sum, uh, summons for it. She's definitely a unit that I would even continue chasing into GSSRs if she's on a specific banner. I think it's, it's that level for me. But that's Bazette. Bazette is not alone. Oh god, get ready for this one. I heard if you love women. We got Setonia Quetzalcoatl. Artoria Pendragon Lancer, or as I like to call her, Lancer Saber, Maeve. <laughs> what? I, 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 what do you mean? <laughs> what? You a <laughs> I have to take a second. <laughs> You're saying I have to redo it? Damn. But it's so long. I talked for so long. <laughs> Fine. Um, fuck, fine. Stop recording. Uh, weird smash cut. I had to edit out a joke because my brother did not approve of it. Anyway, there's gonna be a lot of ladies on Raid Up. <laughs> fuck, I have to stop it again. <laughs> stop! Stop saying <laughs> Take three, I couldn't help myself from making the joke again. Okay, everyone. Not only is Bazette there's a lot <laughs> of <damn it. laughs> Take four. Hello, everyone. Besides Bazette, there will also feature a bunch of lovely ladies on Raid Up alongside her. Who are the women that are going to be here? Yeah, ha ha. Setonia, <laughs> Quetzalcoatl, uh, Lancer. A Saber, Maeve, Orion, uh, or Artemis, however you want to call her, uh, Sherazade, uh, Europa, Derskuri, Mysterious Elephant, or Janako, the however you want to pronounce her, Bradamante, Vitria, Tamamo, Altera, Mo, Songzong, Anastasia, Saber, Regular, I guess, Drake, of the 99 Thieves, Osaka Behime, Jack, Jean, um, Galatea, and Nightingale. And each one of them will have really weird rate ups. So, assuming it follows exactly the way it does on JP, it will be Setonia Quetz, um, Lancer Saber on. on 9, 10, I mean, either the, the next day. I'm just gonna say the next day. It's gonna be featured on the next day. Then, after that, they'll only last a single day. Then it'll be uh, Maeve, Orion, and Sherazade. Then the next day, Europa, Dioscuri, and Janako. Then the next day, Bradamante, Rietra, Tamamo. Then the next day, Altera, Mo, Songzong. Then the next day, Anastasia, Saber, Drake. Then the next day, Osaka Behime, uh, Jack, and Jean. And then the next day, and the final day of these will feature Galatea and Nightingale, and that will be the end of it. They'll, they'll go away, and then the only thing that will be there is Bazette, and that will be it for Valentine's Day. I, I always find it, like, that they do stuff like this. It is literally the, hey, this is your chance to attempt to get the lady of your liking and try and get them while you can. Now with pity. It means that if you ever fail to get them at some point, if you were really, really, really desperate, or you were me... And you see Quetz and you go, oh my god, I need to get Quetz to finish off uh, my Quetz. 
you can easily just plan around Valentine's Day and say like, hey, okay, I've made up my mind. I'm I'm gonna be here this Valentine's for that day for him. So if any of these units matter to you, I would say plan accordingly for it. And chances are you can't plan accordingly this year, but next year you totally could. Um, I'll have to avoid the game for a single day, because otherwise I will throw everything that I have at Quetz, and I will give no abandon to it, and, uh, it's a very toxic trait of mine. <laughs> I, it happens more times than I'd like to admit. But anyway, that's how Valentine's Day is looking like. There will also be a re uh, rerun of Karen the Banner, which you can get Karen over here. If you're into quick AoE units of the Ruler class, she's the only one. Uh... We already have this, 24 days, so we'll get the 10 quarts, and we already have, I got it already. Everyone's favorite day, White Day, the 2022 pre-release campaign will be here. Um, this will feature a bronze apple, because they're men, they get a bronze apple. <laughs> Same amount of quarts, but somehow we get worse apples for it, go, go figure. Um, bronze apple, silver apple, bronze apple, silver apple, golden apple, but still three sank warts, which is good. To have the Logan bonus, all you need to do is clear Fuyuki. The Ember Gathering, one half AP cost, will be there. There will also be a two times chance of great and super suck with the following units. Anyone that is involved with the bespeckled, bespeckled intellectuals event, so all these dudes. In the Da Vinci Shop, we will get a elegant Phantom Thief hat, along with all these for a limited to one variant per account, only for players who do not own it. You get to have one of the 2021 boy, Chaldea boys, um, CEs. So you too can own Club Argonaut, featuring everyone's favorite Argonaut boys. Of course, and I guess there's other man CEs actually. Do you want Ku getting flowers for you? Then this is perfect for you. You can just get it for free. Well, not free. You have to pay the three <laughs> rare mana prisms, but that's basically free. Um, which one of these did I get? I think I might have gotten this one. Because I really do like Detective Edmund Dantes. The continuing man arc. But I'm not 100% sure. Anyway. Besides that, uh, there should be... Yeah, there will be main interlude, uh, Seraph will get free access, so if you've cleared Solomon, you get access to Seraph for free, and if you've already bought it, you'll get five rare mana prisms to, as a refund. And then there will be the Seraph free access commemorative summoning campaign, where you can try and get Melt, King Protea, Passion Lip, or no one's trying to get Suzuki Gozen. Come back when you're summer form. But you can get any one of these three lovely ladies, and I guess a fox lady if you really wanted, um... Yes, they'll be here. Everyone loves good old soccer faces. Who doesn't? And then that should be basically it for the month. We should get an advanced quest, which is a second part two. And I think this one drops uh, bones. There'll be a C that will help with bone stuff. So get ready for boning. And then Chaldea. <laughs> Chaldea Satellite Station Commemorative Campaign for Hokkaido, which will basically be the Albert and Friends livestream for us again, and that will be another good way to get 16 sync quartz. Just like previous times, 6 for the stream, a uh, retweet campaign, and then 10 for the broadcast, and then 3 golden apples, and yeah, they'll reveal to us the Bespeckled Man event, which is the Man Valentine's Day stuff. And that's all what it's really looking like for in February. Again, very easy in terms of actual events. If you want to talk about actual events, the only one that's really happening is Valentine's Day, and if you have not actually done Seraph, there is Seraph, but if you have already done Seraph, then really all that's here for you is Valentine's Day and a lot of banners. <laughs> Wait, this is where, you can really tell where this is where the game was like, we've decided that we, I still don't know why they did it. It really is something that kind of, the logic behind it is always kind of infuriating me a little bit. Why they decided to say, we're going to have less events instead of more events. And it was during the pandemic. So, it would have been a great time. When people were at home doing nothing, Fago gave nothing. <laughs> so now that we're um, not in that state anymore, it really shows how weird it was during this period where it was just non-stop banners likely because they were like we need to make money somehow 
I don't know. But also, it was. I think that was always going to be their plan because they had this stuff planned out way in advance. And because this was the year that they introduced Pity for JP, they likely wanted to have it so that all the JP players, you know, this is their chance to get a bunch of servants to be pitied for the first time. Anyway, that's how February is looking forward to. I assume you can feel free to tell me what you're looking forward to. In terms of events, it's pretty obvious it's Valentine's Day, but if there's any specific unit you're looking for, let me know. If you're one of the people who are like, oh yeah, this is my chance for Europa. I, I can't wait to get my NP3 Europa. Let me know, man. Because that's where I'm debating going for NP4 quads. So I understand. I understand you on a, on a, on a mental level. Yeah, that's the end of the video. Hopefully nothing came out that uh, makes this video slightly dated. But either way, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Bye!